linear differential equations. Hello future engineers and my dear students, welcome back to Mudasir Academy, I am Mudasir Sheikh. Where in the model ordinary differential equations of the first order as per the VQ syllabus. In our last classes, we completed the exact differential equations and we also discussed the reducible to exact form. Today we are starting with a fresh and a very very important topic, linear differential equations. This is the foundation for the next lesson, the Bernoulli's differential equation. So please pay close attention, watch till the end, don't skip any part so that you understand the concept correctly. To understand the concept of linear differential equation, I don't want to confuse you with theory. Let's put in a very simple form. See, the first or the linear differential equation is of two types. One can one is linear in y and other is linear in x. Very simple. Linear in y and linear in x. So the differential equation which is linear in y can be put in the form dy by dx plus py equals q. This is a general form of a differential equation which is linear in y. Okay, see so here, simple. dy by dx is y and here also py. Here, both p and q are functions of x very important both p and q are what functions of x see we had studied the exact differential equations also that there the general form is m dx plus n dy is equal to zero see the difference here it cannot be zero there is something right hand side so linear in y means dy y comes top plus p y is equal to q where dy by this plus P is in some a function in terms of x into y is equal to q also a function in terms of x. That's it. as simple as that. And if it is linear in y, then the solution is written. I'm directly in the solution. I want to make it very simple for you. Okay. No unnoted theories. The solution is simply written as y into e raised to integration of p dx is equal to whole integration of q into e raised to integration of b dx of dx plus the constant c. That's it. So, this is the solution. That's all. So, what we do here? We first, you know, see y into, we have the p here, we have q. y into e raised to integration p dx. You first find this integration with p dx, put it here, y into the integration of that, what I will find? and q into integration of that and we solve this integration. That's the answer. Simple. Okay. So, the linear in y means the, the question looks in the form or you need to see if you can make it of the form dy over dx plus py is equal to q where p and q are functions of x. Then you say it's linear in y. That's it. Okay. So, what is linear in y? Solution is very simple. y into e raised to integration of this p dx is equal to whole integration of q into e raised to integration p dx into dx plus c. That's some. So the integration stuff is not that difficult here. I will teach you in a very, very easy way by solving the problems. Okay. Now, since we are done with linear in y, the next is linear in x. So, similar way, see, linear in y means what? dy by dx plus py, y, y, q. Similarly, linear in x means what? dx by dy plus p into x is equal to q. That's it. Fine. Here see, if you see here, there is x and x. dx by dy, px. Here again, what's the concept here? Linear in y, p and q are functions of x. Linear in x means here p and q both are functions of y. That means the given question will be of the form dx by dy plus px is equal to q or if it is, if it can be converted or made in the form dx by dy plus px is equal to q, then it's called linear in x. And for linear in x, the solution is x into, so here it is y into e raised to p dx, here it is what? x into e raised to integration of p dy is equal to whole integration of, again, q into 
yields to integration of t dy of dy plus c, where c is the constant. So we have the solution for linear inverse y into e raised to p dx is equal to whole integration of q into e raised to p dx dx plus c. And similarly for linear in x, we have the solution as x into e raised to integration p dy is equal to whole integration of t into e raised to integration p dy dy plus c. That's all. So we find first integration of e raised to p dy, put it here in integration and again integrate and get the solution. As simple as that. So uh, see, as with respect to the V2 syllabus, is concerned the syllabus is very easy as you all know so we'll, uh, in the question papers and other things uh, you will be discussing only about linear in y if further need as is i will discuss about linear in x okay so let's move on to the problems to understand how to solve linear in y questions yes. now let's understand the concept of linear differential equations by solving the problems here so the problem here is solve dy by dx minus 2y by x is equal to x plus x square. So write it down here. We have dy by dx minus 2y by x equals x plus x square. So I will write it in general form now. Okay, it looks like linear in y. Let's check it. So it implies we have dy by dx plus I will take this as minus 2 by x into y equals x plus x square, right? Now, this is of the general form. dy by dx plus py is equal to q. dy by dx plus p into y is equal to q, where both p and q, this is p and this is q. Both p and q are what? They are functions of x. This is the general form of what? We write linear in y. Fine. So we have p is equal to minus 2 by x and q equals x plus x squared. Understood now? So we have identified it's a linear differential equation and it's linear in y because as discussed in the theory, the general form of linear in y, differential, linear differential equation is given as dy over dx plus py is equal to q, where p is function of x and q also in function of or in terms of x. Okay. Now, as for the theory, the solution is given as y into e raised to integration of p dx, I write here first, is equal to whole integration of q into e raised to integration of p dx dx plus the constant c. Okay. Now, we'll put on here this thing that implies what is y? y is as it is. Okay. y as it is into e raised to integration of what is p here? See, p is minus 2 by x. Okay. So, minus 2 by x dx equals whole integration of so what is q here x plus x square x plus x square into e raised to integration of minus 2 by x dx of dx plus c that's it this is what we have fine now what we'll do we'll first find the integration we'll make it easy we'll find this value integration of this thing and then what we'll do, we'll multiply over here and get the solution. So I'll put in the bracket better. Okay. Now, so we have e raised to integration of minus 2 by x dx is equal to. We have already solved such type of integration in exact forms. We have e raised to minus 2 outside integration of 1 by h dx step by step. It's again e raised to. What is uh, integration of 1 by x? Differential of log x is 1 by x. So, integration of 1 by x is log x. A very simple integration to remember. So, e raised to minus 2 log x. Again, this is written as what? Re recall it. Log a raised to k is k log a. Okay. So, we can write log a raised to k, k log a. So, k log a is log a raised to k. So, e raised to 
log of x is to minus 2. And what's that? E is to log of x is x. E is to log of something is something. E is to log x is to minus 2 is E in log cancel. What remains? According to the general formula, x to minus 2. Or 1 by x squared. And that's it. Fine. Now what I'll do? This whatever is there, right? 1 by x squared put here. So that implies we have y into 1 by x squared equals x plus x square into what's the value of e raised to minus integration of minus 2 by dx it's 1 by x square dx plus c c so simple now again let's simplify it so this will be see open a bracket x into 1 by x square x divided by x square is 1 by x integration of 1 by x plus x square by x square is 1 fine into dx plus c so we have y by x square equals now integration of 1 by x is log x again you have simple integration stuff here plus again integration of 1 dx integration of 1 dx is x what x plus c that's all so this is my solution so the solution of this linear efficient equation, which is linear in y is given as y by x y divided by x square is equal to log x plus x plus c. That's just as simple as that. To understand the concept here more clearly, let's solve one more question here. We have solve dy by dx plus y cot x is equal to cos x. So again, this looks like linear in y. So we have here, uh, I really like this as again. Uh, dy by dx plus cortex into y equals cos x. Fine. Again, if you see here, it's of the general form dy by dx plus py, dy by dx py is equal to q. Okay, here this is p and this is what q. So, this is again what? Linear in y. Fine. Now P is what? Cortex and Q is cos x. So the solution is we have the solution as y into e is to integration of P dx, that is cortex dx is equal to whole Q into what is Q? So because we have discussed the solution. For the question, the problem linear in y, the solution is y into e raised to integration of p dy, p, sorry, e raised to p dx is equal to whole integration of q into again this what e raised to integration of p dx of dx plus c. So into e raised to integration of cortex dx and dx for this whole integration plus constant is c. Okay. So we will first integrate this term. It will be easy for us and then put it here and get the solution of the whole integration. So we have implies e raised to integration of cortex dx is equal to. So these are the simple integration formulas to remember. Listen to me carefully. Integration of cortex is log sine. Okay. Just Listen, integration of cortex is log sin s. Written in your brain, one more time I repeat, integration of cortex is log of sin x. So we have e raised to log sin x. Now again, e raised to log of something is something. e raised to log of x is x, e raised to log of x square is x square, e raised to log of x to minus 2 is x to minus 2. Similarly, e raised to log of sin x is E log cancels, it's nothing but what? Sin x. That's it. Okay, that's the power of exponentials and logarithms. Now, let's put here. So, we have the solution as y into, uh, this is sin x equals whole integration of q is again cos x 
इन टू साइन एक्स डी एक्स प्लस सी ओके नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस सो कॉस इन टू साइन सी वेन एवर कॉस इन टू साइन कम्स इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ सिंगल वेरिएबल इज वेरी इजी बिकॉज यू नो इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइन एक्स इज माइनस कॉस एक्स वाई इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ कॉस एक्स इज साइन एक्स वाई सॉन सो वट इज सिंपली डू इज आई ट्राइट दिस एस वाई साइन एक्स इज इक्वल टू कॉस एक्स इंटू साइन एक्स रिमेम्बर द सिंपल ट्रिक हेर वेर एवर यू गेट कॉस इंटू साइन सिंपली मल्टीप्लाई बाय टू एंड डिवाइड बाय टू ओके सो वॉट हैपन्स हियर दैट इम्प्लाइज वाई इंटू साइन एक्स इक्वल्स वन बाय टू जॉट साइड इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ इट बिकम सिंगल टर्म बिकॉज यू नो द टेक्नोमेटिक रिलेशन साइन टू एक्स इज टू साइन एक्स इंटू कॉस एक्स वॉट इज साइन टू एक्स साइन टू एक्स इज टू साइन एक्स इंटू कॉस एक्स दिस थिंग्स यूनिट इज मेम्बर ओके और इट मी वे रेडी अवेलेबल फॉर्मुला शीट बट दिस आर द सिंपल थिंग्स यू नीड टू कंपलसरी रिमेम्बर इट शुड मीन यू हेड ऑल दिस सो साइन टू एक्स इज वॉट टू साइन एक्स इंटू कॉस एक्स सो टू कॉस एक्स साइन एक्स नथिंग बट साइन टू एक्स डी एक्स प्लस सी नाउ सिंगल टर्म टू बी इंटीग्रेटेड फॉर योर नॉलेज एल राइट इट हियर इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइन ए एक्स डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस कॉस ए एक्स डिवाइड बाय ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मूला इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइन एक्स इज माइनस कॉस ए एक्स बाई इंटीग्रेशन साइन एक्स इज माइनस कॉस एक्स इंटीग्रेशन कॉस एक्स इज साइन एक्स बट इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइन ए एक्स इन डिफ्रेंशिएशन चेंज रूल इज डिफ्रेंशन ऑफ साइन एक्स वॉज कॉस एक्स इन टू डिफ्रेंशन ऑफ ए एक्स इज नॉट स्टैंड फॉर्म ए इंटू एक्स ए ए कॉस एक्स बट इन इंटीग्रेशन द चेंज रूल इज डिवाइडेड बाय इट कम्स डाउन डिनोमिनेटर सो इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइन ऑफ एक्स इज माइनस कॉस एक्स ओनली साइन एक्स इज ऑल्सो माइनस कॉस एक्स होल डिवाइड बाई डिफ्रेंशिएशन ऑफ ए एक्स विथ रिस्ट एक्स इज ए सो वी हेट माइनस कॉस एक्स वाई सो इट इम्प्लाइज दिस विल बी वन बाय टू इन टू माइनस कॉस टू एक्स ओके डिवाइड बाय वट वट इज अपॉन टू इट इफ टू प्लस सी डेट्स इट देर फॉर दट इम्प्लाइज द सोल्यूशन इज वाई साइन एक्स इक्वल्स टू टू जॉ फोर माइनस कॉस टू एक्स बाय टू टू जॉ फोर प्लस सी such a beautiful solution that's it so we have the solution for this question derivative dx plus y cot x is equal to cos x which is linear in y as y sin x is equal to minus cos x by 4 that's it that's all in today's video i hope you understood what does a linear differential equation means and the types that is linear in y linear in x and how to solve them okay please go back to the theory uh watch it and practice the problems these are very very important because these are the foundations for what we are going to study in the next video that is bernoulli's differential equation and also bernoulli's differential equation is also called as equation reducible to linear form okay that means this the solution here is very important over there and in the video examination they focus mostly on bernoulli differential equation fine so see you in the next video then please keep supporting keep sharing and let's grow together see you in the next video bye